Everyone knows paper airplanes fly, and rocks, balls, and paper wads don't. Oops, I got that one backwards. That's better. But if paper were supposed to fly, it would be a bird. Do you really need to fold? Seems complicated. Why not just fly the whole page? Oh, you like complexity. Okay. Why not make an airplane with two fronts so it can fly back to you? Then you would not have to turn it around to fly it the other way. I hear there's going to be a paper shortage. Let's conserve paper and make them smaller. But small planes don't go far, do they? Okay, enough showing off. Can you get a good glide? This is folded kirigami. It's how you make an airplane out of parts bonded together without tape or glue that is still all one piece. It's also how this airplane was made, with swing wings with paper pivots and locks, cut and folded in one piece with no tape or glue, and it flies well in any wing position. Can they do more than loop and turn? These are real airshow aerobatics. Real airplanes can't even do this. How complicated can they get with tape and glue? What if you add staples? This flyer has more moving parts than a Swiss Army knife. Perhaps you'd prefer something a little simpler. How about something you could make? I'm James Onker, a non-traditional designer and Guinness record setter in paper aviation. I'll post more. See the comments and links below this video.